Thank you, Anis. Uh, good morning, all your excellencies, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here today uh, to introduce to you um, what we're calling the nearly accomplished master plan for the Suez Canal Area Development Project. Uh, let me start first by thanking the AMCHAM uh, that had uh, contributed strongly in the beginning of the project by really helping us uh, organize a lot of focus groups and uh, made the, our life at the beginning of uh, the project really easier. So thank you, Anis, thank you, the Chamber, and Hisham for that. And also, of course, uh, our friend Mohammed Swidi for and the uh, Federation of Egyptian Industries that had uh, a strong contribution also in this uh, project. Um, I'm going to start uh, the presentation, if I know where it is. <laughs> While we're getting this, uh, is it the 22? Uh, due to time constraint, I know I have 10-15 uh, minutes, I have uh, nearly 800 slides, but uh, uh, we've managed last night to, to try to uh, give you just uh, a quick brief of uh, the project and where we have reached. Uh, we have started this assignment on the 9th of September 2014. We had six months to complete this project. It's a very aggressive task, so uh, it was very important that we start all the activities. We have developed a methodology that we discussed with the... Okay, no? okay. I thought it's there, okay. So, uh, as I'm saying, we have developed a methodology to uh, carry out our tasks in parallel. And uh, it was very important that we get into the uh, economic studies, the review of national and regional plans, uh, sector studies, uh, uh, spatial potentials, benchmarking, and stakeho uh, stakeholder engagement. All this started collectively on the 9th of March together, went into a, a SWOT analysis, developing a vision, coming up with alternative uh, uh, development strategies and focusing on selecting uh, the multi-criteria analysis to come up with an integrated master plan for an region and of course with uh, uh, the needs assessment of infrastructure requirements and the like and come up at the end with uh, the potential roadshow. Our scope of work, some of you may have seen some of these early slides but uh, it's very important to tell you that uh, our scope of work uh, is really to uh, come up with a development strategy for the Suez Canal area. We are to develop an integrated master plan for the Suez Canal area, uh, particular plots that I'm going to show you, which we're calling uh, priority areas. It's the master plan for identified priority areas. And to put an investment strategy and a business plan, marketing strategy with a media plan, all together with a strategic impact assessment. At the beginning of the project, we uh, uh, had to go through a visioning process. It was very important to get the vision of all the stakeholders. So we've made, and again, thanks again for the Federation and for the AMSHAM and other communities that helped us into conducting workshops, focus groups that gave us uh, a lot of insight of the visioning. We had uh, a lot of meetings with IFIs, multi, uh, multinational uh, uh, and multilateral uh, agencies, youth groups, civil society, all the ministries. We have conducted these workshops and uh, basically uh, it was very important to note that uh, most of the findings of these workshops were very consistent. Uh, it had a very specific uh, sort of outlook outward looking and inward looking. Uh, this project is to be preferred focus for foreign investment. This is a, a very important criteria. This project is going to be one, uh, uh, on, uh, uh, one of the principal elements of the global supply chain. It is to act as a logistic hub. 
uh, that's very uh, obvious one of the main targets of uh, this project. This project is going to be a regional leader in ICT. This project not only will promise ICT uh, projects, but also it's going to have to be on a complete uh, ICT platform.